Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2025 Ford Bronco Sport. We're going to work on our way through the different trim levels and we're covering all the different standard equipment plus the different packages available and standalone options in a video so you can guys have a good idea how to order these vehicles because the order banks are open up right now for the 2025 model year and uh, there's some great deals going on on these and some a lot of more standard features now you will see the price is going to be about 700 dollars more than it was last year but it does include the copilot 360 assist plus package as part of that as well as a couple other new features for this year that we did not see that were part of some convenience package last year that are now standard equipment this year so Hopefully uh, this uh, video helps you out. Uh, don't forget, if you like videos like this, you probably like uh, videos on our channel. So hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any video as we uh, go through this, uh, this these model lineups as well as other Ford vehicles too. And not only are order banks open up, but we have a special uh, offer that we have for anybody that buys a Bronco Sport from us. More information about that is at the end. Here's a little clue. Uh, I want to get you make sure you go to Bronco Off Radio because everybody that purchases a Bronco Sport uh, – gets a free registration to Bronco off rodeo, but you have to pay for it to get there. And we're going to give you show you how you can get there for free. Uh, if you purchase a vehicle through us. So now this video isn't just about ordering from us, just leaving that out there as an option. Uh, we're going to give you a lot of good information that you can take to your local dealer and order. There's some great local dealers. I uh, expect you to do that. Uh, and uh, we'll have some ordering tips at the end as well. Use the timestamps down below to move around in the video. Get the information you're looking for uh, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. So let's dive in. We're going to first talk about some of the mechanical features. Before you do that, let's jump into the order guide and show you how to and get everything. I do have it. I have it pulled up right here. There we go. Um, so with that, so if you go to Ford.com, you're going to see something similar to this. Uh, this may change, of course, depending on what offers and what Ford wants to push out that month or that time of the month, I should say. But if you go up here to vehicles and you go to SUVs and cars and go on over to Bronco Sports, um, and you can see there the 24 model years what's highlighting because there's still plenty out there and the building price is going to be available for 24 as long as there's still inventory for 24. Those go hand in hand from what I've been on, I've been told. If you want information on the 25 model year, click on this meet the 25 Bronco Sport. And then here you can see all kinds of information about the Bronco Sport. Uh, where it starts is uh, starting the big bends start $200 more than they did last year. Uh, the um, Heritage Edition, which is what we're talking in this video, is the retro 1966 uh, look and inspired by the 1966 Bronco, I should say. Um, and that one there, uh, it's over here, hidden. There you go. Throwback to the modern uh, durability. So you're going to see a lot of the standard equipment, but with some flair from the, the past. That's about $700 more than it was last year. Let's just click in here to the building price. And we're going to use that so we can kind of uh, click around. You can see it starts at 33135 Last year, I think it was 32300 somewhere around there. And uh, so we're going to show you how there's more standard equipment this year. Again, includes a Copilot 360 SS Plus package as well as a couple options, a couple of features from the convenience package also included. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a second. So. All right, let's get into the uh, mechanical features here uh, first and kind of talk about how that's going to look and what all is included. Of course, these are going to come with a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology. And uh, you cannot upgrade to the 2.0 uh, with the Heritage Edition. Uh, auto start stop means that if you come to the stoplight stop sign, it's going to shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake. It's going to turn it back on. Even if you turn the steering wheel just a little bit because the steering wheel is power assisted, uh, it needs uh, the vehicle engine to be turned on for electronics to work, um, at least for the steering, <laughs> that is. Um, it does turn that on, so that's a way of doing it. There's also a little button you can press deactivate it for that engine cycle too. Now, it's going to come with an eight-speed automatic transmission as you see it down here. So pretty good transmission they've, been, they've had since it launched. And uh, so they're gonna, these are going to come standard 4x4. So no two-wheel drives, standard 4x4, and standard with the Haas 1.0 off-road tuned suspension. Now, last year they mentioned it was just called the standard suspension, and they didn't really like that because I think it implied the fact that this wasn't a vehicle you could take off-road and it had the off-road capabilities. But this does. So they're changing that wording terminology to the Haas 1.0 off-road tuned suspension. So this and is uh, the suspension is available for you to take it off road and with that four wheel drive system and the terrain management system, which we're going to talk about, 
uh, has five goat modes for this year. So the same as last year, I guess. Um, so go over any type of terrain modes. You have a normal, an eco, a sport, a slippery. And for this year, they're calling it off-road. Last year it was called sand mode. And they changed that because it was a little misleading. Made people think that, well, I'm not in sand, so I, I don't know what mode to use. Now it's pretty simple. If you're off-road, if you're on sand, if you're on gravel, if you're on rocky terrain, put it in the off-road mode. And it's going to change the shifting and how everything works, the slippage of the tires and everything for off-road capabilities. You have front and rear stabilizer bars also included in this. That gives it a great ride on road. Um as well as pretty good ride off-road too. We do have, uh, have electronic power assist steering, that E-Pass. So electronic and controlled make, makes it a little bit easier when you're in those slower speeds, park a lot, to be able to turn the steering wheel. Uh, we also do have the electric brake assist, and we have electric parking brake that includes the auto hold. So it'll hold that brake at that stoplight, So which is really nice. Or if you're on a hill, kind of helps you uh, go up because it does have hill start assist as well and it's using that technology for that electronic traction control as well that can be uh, sometimes deactivated when you put in off-road mode that gets deactivated so that you can don't have that that wheel slippage because electronic traction control is going to try to um, help out with that so there you go all right that's all of that so we're going to get into the safety features i don't really have any images on ford site so we'll just go to this and i'll Throw a couple of images up there for you as we talk about this. For airbags, we have a driver and front passenger row um, dual stage airbag. So we do have a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It has a sensor under the seat that uh, tells the system that. We do have a driver knee airbag as well. That's going to deploy and help protect the driver from that uh, steering column from coming down and hitting their knees. We have a front seat in, uh, mounted side impact airbags. So it's beside the seat. It's going to deploy from that side collision. If you have that happen for the driver and front passenger. And we do have the safety canopy the side curtain airbag that deploys down. So that way, uh, if it's a rollover sensor as well, so it's going to roll over, help from hopefully breaking glass and sheet metal coming in and uh, hurting anybody. We have advanced track with roll stability control. The goal on that is to keep you on your intended path. So if it's slick outside, maybe going to curve a little too fast. It's going to use a series of brakes where it needs to to help move you and, uh, and bring you around and keep you on your intended path. We do have the SOS post crash alert system. So if you're in an accident off the side of the road, it's going to help uh, people will know that you're there. Um, and then we do have the lane keeping system as well. So we do have that's uh, similar to what we had last year. So lane keeping aid, alert and driver alert. So what that assist is going to do is try to keep you in your lane. So it's going to use uh, those lines. If it, ha if it can see those lines, it helps get over that line and, and kind of try to keep you in your lane. Um, we do have the alert system with that where um, it won't just keep you in your lane if you don't have that one activated. If you have just alert, you'll still be able to cross over the line, but it'll vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've went over that line. Now, if you use these together, which you can, when you get over the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel, but still try to bring you back in. And that's just kind of a secondary uh, feature there. And then we have driver alert. That's going to alert you. If you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, uh, then it'll, it'll alert you and let you know that and maybe remind you to maybe pull over and get some coffee. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, we do have pre-collision assist 1.5. So it's an updated version of this uh, because we do, because standard equipment is uh, the adaptive cruise. Because of that, we have an automatic emergency braking with this. So it's going to get uh, the forward collision warning that it warns you and lets you know if there's someone going slower than you and you would hit them at your current speed, it's going to alert you. Series of lights on there, tones that you need to stop, preloads the brakes, and then also if you don't brake, it's going to use automatic emergency braking to brake the vehicle for you. And then also does have pedestrian detection, and uh, that will detect pedestrians and at slower speeds. So if you're like under 20, I think it's under 15 or 20 miles an hour. So there you go. And then we do have evasive steering assist uh, that if you can't stop in time and you need to try to turn to avoid them and there's nobody in the lane beside you, then it assists and it makes it easier to turn that steering wheel. So that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your uh, setting screen there. We do have perimeter alarm that when you lock that vehicle up, walk away, it's going to set that parameter. So if someone tries to break the glass, the window, break into your vehicle, it's going to set the alarm off, honk the horns, flash the lights and everything else like that. And we do have security lock, passive, and a theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. So there you go. All right. Let's get into the exterior features here. There you go. Find this right here. 
So we're going to use this uh, right here to kind of go around the vehicle and show you that. In fact, you know what? I didn't do this in the Big Ben video, but I realized that uh, we can go a uh, big screen right here on this. <laughs> and so you can see everything. So let's first talk about the grill. The grill has been updated for this year. So we have a new grill design. This is a, uh, a redesign year. So usually you're going to have some see some updates to the, to the grill and the bumpers. And we have with this one. I do like this upgrade. So it looks like to me across the lineup, model lineup, we have the same grill design, but with different colors and accents. And the Heritage Edition is one of those where you're going to get that Oxford white painted grill with the red Bronco letters up there. So it looks real sharp, um, looks real good there. We also do have an upgraded front bumper for this year. So you can see that uh, as well. So I like how that kind of comes up and in. You do have active grill shutters that you can see. There's some openings in the grill right there. So they're going to open and close when it needs to to help cool off the vehicle there. Uh, we also do have LED headlights here. So they really haven't changed the headlights, which a lot of models on a refresh, they'll change the grill and the headlights. With this and they just changed the grill design, uh, which I like. I actually, like pretty much to me, they give in the, the Badlands grill to about every trim level, uh, which I like. Um, and then uh, we do have configurable daytime running lights and that can be configured on. LED headlights uh, that are also automatic features. So they'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. And you get auto high beams as well with this. So auto high beams, uh, just like, you know, if it's dark enough outside, it'll turn the high beams on. If you're in the city lights or somebody approaches you, it's going to shut them off. And that's a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. And you do have acoustic laminated windshield. So it's two pieces of glass with plastic in between that helps protect it. So if something you know hits that windshield breaking glass, it won't like shatter the glass and come into you, but should keep it adhered a little bit so you can pull over uh, when you're it's safe for you to do that. All right, so on the side, we do have for the wheels a 17-inch Oxford white painted aluminum wheel. You're going to see the tire is an all-season tire. It's a 225-65 R17-102H black sidewall letter uh, tire there. You can see that, same as last year, looks like. Uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system as well to monitor those tires. Uh, for this year, we do have uh, we don't have a mini spare. That's been taken away altogether on the Bronco Sport. We, we do have a tire and inflator and sealant kits. Uh, for this year and uh, we do have a four-wheel disc brakes with analog braking system as well and uh, for your mirrors here black mirror cap uh, molded in black we do have the power and heated feature for the mirror and uh, there as well and then we do have manual fold mirror so you can fold that in if you need to in the parking lot and that kind of thing and you do have the bliss blind spot information system with cross traffic alert so it monitors your blind spot if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time and then as you back up it uses some of those same sensors uh, to alert you if someone's going to cross your path behind you so it kind of puts a message on the on the dash and sensors that you need to stop uh, alert you of that and then if you're not paying attention to that and uh, they feel the system feels like there's somebody there it'll actually use re rear cross traffic braking as well so it breaks the vehicle so uh, really is trying to make sure that we are, are staying safe and accident free right <clears throat> All right, we do have wheel lip molding on this. So you can see a black wheel lip molding on there that's standard, as well as a rock side rocker molding and lower cladding uh, as well is going to be molded in black down there. And then uh, we do have the door handles also molded in black. And then you will see up here too a roof rack side rails are going to be molded in black. And then we're going to have an Oxford white painted roof on this. So you can see that there. Privacy glass and these rear windows, quarter windows and back glass as well. And then you'll also see the Heritage Edition stripe, vinyl stripe on the side. It says Bronco in there as well. So pretty cool on how that all looks right there. Um, I got ahead of myself here on my notes. Um, we do have intelligent access with push button start. So just put that key fob in your pocket. Put your hands in door handle. Omnic unlocks the vehicle when you uh, on think just the front doors there. And you just you can lock up by pressing the ridges. And then when you get inside, you just push the push button start to start it. So you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or start it. You do have the key fobs still uh, that you'll have for that uh, as well. And then easy fuel capless filler door. So it's uh, no cap to worry about. Uh, lean behind, get your hands through, just open, just press that, opens up, just fill, put the nozzle in, fill it up, and then when you're done, just shut that outer uh, lid there. So that's something they've had for a long time now um, and works really well. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. We do have the black um, around the windows as well, just like on the other models and the belt line. So you'll have that too. And then black kind of painted, high gloss painted right here too. All right. And then in the back, we do have a high center behind a stoplight up here, third brake light. 
rear defrost with rear wiper back here as well. And I do have a flip up glass so you can release the glass and have it flip up if you want to make it easier. We do have uh, LED tail lights back here on the back. You'll see the Bronco Sport uh, lettering is going to be in white back here in the back. Um, you know what? I thought that was supposed to be red. Am I not? It's red on the front. Uh, let me look at my notes because I got ahead of myself here. Um, maybe it is just white on the back. Um, yeah. I have to find that. I can't remember. I was thinking there was red for some reason. Anyway, if I'm wrong, I'll flash a picture up right there because we have a bunch of them on our lot. I can go check those out <laughs> when I get done with this video. Um, also, we do have the rear view camera back here. So you can be able to see as you're backing up. You also need to get reverse sensing too so it alerts you as you get on closer and closer as you're backing up you will see the upgraded bumper for this year i'm going to give you an image from a big bend that uh, i got a chance to see in person uh at an event a media event recently and uh, so it does have upgraded rear bumper back here too um let's see what else do we got here we got a manual lift gate so you can just um I'll lift the lift gate completely opens up as well for you uh you will have flood lights above that you can turn on uh, that'll light up and uh, on the back, they're adjustable as well for a campsite or whatever. And then you do have a bottle opener that's in the passenger side um, uh, area over there. Uh, the what are they call the, the hatch area right there. Um, you also have carpeted flooring in the uh, the cargo area there. We do have cargo tie down carabiner uh, hooks for carabiner hooks and loops. Um, so there's two on each side. You'll see that in the image I'm showing you uh, from that event I went to. Uh, rear cargo area light as well back there. And then we do have a PowerPoint. I uh, have one in the cargo area uh, for a power. There's all PowerPoints for different things. Coolers, that kind of thing. That's what I use for my Bronco uh, for that. So, all right, let's 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 move inside here. Okay, so let's get into the interior of this. So as you can see with this in here, you do have the Heritage interior here with, uh, uh, well, before I get into the seats and everything, additional sound deadening is going to be included in these uh, to make it a little bit quieter. You will see, I'm going to go to this view over here, you will see the register, uh, the the uh, air vent registers are going to be what they call Silver Mountain in here on this. You will also see the Oxford White door ring around here. And uh, it doesn't mention the order guide, but we do see in this image here that we still get the white on the dash or the instrument panel. I uh, don't know if that's been changed, but I noticed that wasn't included in the order guide this year, but it was last year. Uh, I think maybe it was just omitted. So surely it's going to look like that. Navy Pier interior as well uh, right there. So you're going to have kind of that. That's going to go along with your seats. Um, and uh, that way you get floor mats uh, for the front row up here. Uh, there and then lighting front and rear map lights as well. So you're going to see those right up here as well as I think there's some lights back there too. Um, illuminated entry system. So when you get in, you know, unlock the vehicle, it's going to light up the interior for you. Uh, we do have uh, grab for grab handles. We do have a uh, front row. Uh, the passenger has one right up here. Uh, grab handle as well as the rear. There's you can see the one back there. There's one on the passenger side as well uh, right there. And I'm not sure why I mentioned that it does have coat hooks, a little hooks for coats in there too. If you need that, um, I think kind of the reason I kind of mentioned is on the order guide because there's some models where you get an additional grab handle uh, for certain packages. But unique armrest uh, with the center console. You do have storage inside there. Uh, we do also have red stitching on there. You can you'll uh, see that when we get to a different image. Maybe. Yeah, you can't see it in there. But anyway, um, let's have red stitching on there. Your console floor console here is also going to have a media hub area up here with some USB ports there. Wireless charging pad as well. Uh, is going to be right in there. And then you do have two, two cup holders. You have the rotary dial shifter knob. Uh, your electric parking brake with the, that auto hold is right there. And then your goat mode switch is right there too. So uh, you're going to have uh, all that right there uh, included in that floor console. Plaid cloth seats, as you can see with the design here for the front and the back seats. Uh, Six-way manual adjustment, forward and back, up and down, and manual recline. Four-way manual uh, power passenger seat, so forward and back and manual recline there. Uh, rear armrest for in the center, so you can pull that down with cup holders in it. Um, and then we do have 60-40 split bend seat, so that seat can uh, lay forward if you need to put something in the back cargo area like bikes or a bike rack or something like that, which we'll talk about later as optional equipment. Um, the head restraints are a manual two-way, means they'll go up and down for the front row as well as these outbound uh, second row, you actually see a little button that flips it forward. Um, and so it should be able to go up and down plus flip forward. Uh, just mentions two-way in here. This uh, middle one they're saying is fixed. Um, so there you go. Um, and then I think it's I think it still goes up and down, but it's fixed. 
in a way of going forward and back. I don't know. Anyway, um, but we do have behind the console, we do have a PowerPoint back there as well. Um, we do have a Molly strap system, it says in here, on the back of those seats um, for you. And uh, we do have the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children that you can fasten those rear and front facing car seats into those back seats, which is really nice um, for you. And we do have for power windows. I like to go to this view for this. Uh, we have power windows up here as a one touch down feature for the driver's window. Uh, all the others, you will have to hold it um, if you want for them to go up and down like most of them. Power locks for you, including an auto lock and unlock when you start going to a certain speed and child safety locks for those rear doors. So you can lock those out. They're going to be in the door, the doors themselves and the door jam kind of. Uh, you can adjust those that way. Um, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just pull the lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back for you. You can adjust it that way. Steering wheel, you can see has a Bronco on there. We do have uh, some different switches in here to control the productivity screen. That is going to be a 12.3 inch uh, digital productivity screen. They said it was inspired from the Bronco Raptor. So the big Bronco Raptor. So that's cool. And then we do have cruise control here. It's going to be the adaptive cruise control, including stop and go and lane centering. So adaptive cruise means if you're going, uh, going along, car in front of you is going slower than you it'll slow you down to go their speed you don't have to hit your brake and then even bring it to complete stop and get going again without having to uh, hit your brake and lane centering keeps in the center of your lane when you have the cruise control activated so uh, which is nice a little bit different than lane keeping which is activated with or without the cruise the lane centering tries to keep you in the center of your lane um and then um See what else? Climate control is an electronic uh, automatic temperature control. It's still a single zone, though, but electronic control down there. And uh, we do have AM FM stereo with six speaker audio sound system. You will get Sirius XM satellite radio standard equipment and you're going to get sync four system. So that's going to get you the 13.2 inch screen here. So that's going to be standard on all Bronco sports, which is really nice. Uh, and you're going to get the cloud connected. 91 assist the wireless Android auto and Apple CarPlay now. Digital owner's manual, conversational voice commands as well, and over-the-air updates uh, too. So you're going to have all that too. You do also have this uh, accessory-ready little compartment on the back side of that screen with a couple of different smart charging USB ports up there. So if you want to mount some GoPros on the on the dash, or uh, if you have one of the things that's real popular now is a dash cam, which I have, and then you can wire it straight down to the switches, which would be kind of nice to be able to be able to position that up there. Um, we have a day night mirror, so you just pull that lever there, and that will adjust it for day and night. Overhead console will include a sunglass bin up here, the map lights as well. Uh, your visors flip those down, included illuminated vanity mirrors there as well. Uh, you do have glow box storage right down here. Uh, mentioned the media hub area, the wireless charging pad already, and you get the Ford Pass Connect. It allows you to stay connected to your vehicle <clears throat> using the Ford Pass app. Free app you download and you connect your vehicle up. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can actually unlock and lock it. Uh, you can see the tire pressure you have on your tires, the fuel you have in your vehicle, all that stuff with that Ford Pass app. Pretty cool app, and it's free. Download it, connect your vehicle, and you can use that services uh, anywhere. So there you go. There's all of our standard features except for the colors. So let's talk about colors on the Heritage Edition. Uh, we are a little limited on the color, but we have some that are very distinct and uh, special just for the Heritage Edition, and, and that is the Robin's Egg Blue. So that Robin's Egg Blue is an extra $1,000, but is only available on the Heritage Edition. We also do have the Azure Gray. It's also $1,000 because that's a tricoat color, and that is also uh, available. Um, and then it looks actually a little darker than that in person. Ruby Red Tinted Clear Coat. It's $4.95 for this color, and this is a new color for this year. So that's uh, been brought to this uh, the model. Shadow Black does not cost extra. And then we have the Carbonized Gray, which we've been seeing so far in this. So those are our color choices for this year. And we did see a couple colors that discontinued. Um, um, the Hot Pepper Red is not available for this year. It was available not in this. And I think that's the only switch out color there. Uh, Cactus Gray, you won't see it either. It's not available for this year too. So, all right. So there's all of our uh, standard equipment. Let's get into some of these packages now. So moving down, we do have uh, really only one package to talk about, and that's the convenience package. So the convenience package uh, is going to be uh, $13.50. It is cheaper this year than last year because there's a couple of features that were part of the convenience package and now standard equipment like that wireless charging pad. Uh, and so this, this package is a little cheaper. 
because of that. And, and the rear sensors also was uh, included as standard equipment that was on it last year. So this package here, if you click on the little eye, it actually gives you a little more information about what's included. Um, actually, I just clicked on the Copilot 360 Assist, sorry. Convenience package, there we go. Uh, this in here is gonna get you LED fog lights. So we didn't have that as standard equipment. That's nice having those fog lights for you. Also, you're gonna get the uh, seats here. We're gonna be an eight-way power driver seat. So electronically controlled forward and back, up and down, power recline and power lumbar. And you're gonna get heated seat for the driver and front passenger here with this package. And you're gonna get the premium wrapped steering wheel as well. So. I don't think it's leather. I think it's ActiveX material. And then you have universal garage door opener. Transmitter is going to be on that driver visor so that you can program different um, uh, garage door openers and such to those using that. So that's that's really the only package that we have. Uh, so let us uh, let me give me a break just a second. Let me uh, get into the standalone options and go through those of what's available uh, for you on the Heritage Edition. All right, getting into the stand. There's no, uh, the only option for the wheel is the one that you're seeing and uh, the tire as well right there. So, uh, all right, moving down, we do have these mud flap kit front and rear. There's also one down here that's just a front and just a rear. So these are more of a rubber uh in fact, let's click in here. You can see them. Uh, it's more of a like a rubberized flap down here. Uh, there's another option for a different one we're going to talk about in a second. But so these here, this is uh, there's three different options for these. So there's a front and rear. There's a front and there's a rear. So those aren't compatible with each other. You pick one of the three. Um, and uh, that's how those are a dealer installed option. So if you do decide to go with those, then um, the dealer would install those for you when it comes in. Um, and this one is not compatible with the splash guards, of course, because you wouldn't be able to put those on. Uh, so there you go. So that's the options on those. So uh, we do have a fender flare kit uh, this year. There's two la options last year for that. There's just one this year. It is a uh, textured one. that's non-paintable, it says. The bolt style look for it right there. And uh, that is not compatible with your... Um, it says in here not compatible with these. Let me let me look at my notes because it's a little different. Uh, pocket style with the rivets. Um, it, this this does require the convenience package, by the way, and it is not available with the mud flap front, rear, or the front and rear, and it's not available for some reason with your power moonroof. Not sure what that has to do with your power moonroof, but <laughs> there you go. For some reason, it's not available with that either. So uh, there's how you get that. But otherwise, you can add that, and that's going to be a dealer installed option. The dealer would install that for you. All right, we also do have the roof rail crossbars uh, one. And we the reason there's a one is because there'll be a two for Badlands and Outer Banks. For 425, you can get those crossbars that go across, uh, put luggage and different things. Or if you have some sort of basket or you want a rooftop tent or something, you would need those. Uh, sometimes, actually, some of them will give you some other ones if you want as well. But there you go. That's a dealer installed option. The dealer would put those on your vehicle um, when it comes in. Um, and uh, no other requirements there. So it doesn't require any, any other packages or anything. We do have the keyless entry keypad. So this is now a dealer installed option. It's an illuminated keyless entry keypad, 225. And uh, the, the dealership would install that and uh, no longer in standard equipment anymore uh, as of last year. So there you go. Engine block heater, 190. That is a factory installed option. So if you get that, if you want to be able to plug your uh, and keep your engine block cold in the wintertime, maybe you park the vehicle outside, you want to make sure you order that engine block heater because uh, that is a, a lot easier. I think you can install it yourself, but it's a lot harder and uh, then the factory does it. So uh, front and rear splash guard. So that is the other option to protect from uh, mud and different things going down dirt roads. It's 115. It's actually, I think, a little cheaper. And this is going to be, you're going to get front and rear together. And uh, these here are a factory installed option. So it is a Ford accessory, but it will be put on at the factory. And again, this is not a compatible with your mud flap kit, uh, as you can see, or your fender flare kit. So there you go. Uh, make sure that's right. Yeah, fender flare kit is not available with that either. All right, the lift gate privacy curtain, $100. That's a, they're considering that a dealer installed option because technically it'll just be shipped to the dealer and they'd put it in your vehicle. Uh, this is something where you lift up the lift gate and you have a privacy curtain around you. I don't think they have an image in here. Um, no, they don't. Um, and then so you can get that. No uh, other requirements because that is just something you use when you need it. If you're out camping and that kind of stuff. Front license plate bracket. You, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate bracket, it's standard equipment. Uh, the dealership would still install it for you when it gets there. 
Uh, if you are in a state like Kansas that doesn't require a front license plate bracket, then it's a standalone option. Still no charge, and the dealership would install it, but you want to make sure you add that there. If you if you order from like if you order from us and you're out of state and you require a front license plate, let us know. We need to make sure we put that on there because otherwise Ford won't do that because we don't require it in our state. All right. Uh, LED fog lights doesn't have a price it's because it's only available with that convenience package. Power moonroof, $920 for this. does require the convenience package to order this. Um, so you can order that. So it gives you the uh, power moonroof. Um, no image there. So there you go. Um, and then uh, let's see, moving down, we do have the uh, center console vault with the coded lock, $400. Uh, that is a dealer installed option there. And uh, so uh, no other requirements there, but the dealership would install that for you. Into your bike rack, uh, there's an image here, but I'll show you. Um, I have an image from when we were there because uh, you can do either two bikes like this or one that's actually a rail that goes back there. So I got a good image of that. Um, so that is a dealer installed option. The dealership would put it, install the, the rail for you in the back, and then you lay the seats down when you need it uh, for the bike racks. So um, there you go. That's, again, dealer installed option if you'd like to get that. Um, cargo management system. So this is a pretty cool. This is actually a factory installed option because it needs the rails for it to sit on. I don't think there's an image in there. I'll show you an image from when we get to get, get to see this at the embargoed event that we did for media. It's 195 and this gives you the uh, shelf divider and table is what you're seeing set up in that image there. Um, and that's a pretty cool little system there. And uh, that's available. And that's a fa again, a factory installed option. So you want to put, make sure you add that. The floor liners front and rear without the mats is 185 and that is a Ford accessory option, but um, the, the factory will actually put them in a bag and put them in your vehicle when it leaves the factory and then the dealership can put them in there or you can put them in. A dealership may not install them for you and uh, let you just put them in when you want them. Cargo mat 150, same type of material as all weather mats. That is another Ford accessory that will be put in your vehicle when it leaves the factory. And uh, that's going to be a mat that goes in the cargo area to give it more protection back there since it's carpet now on these. Uh, I think it was last year too, but there you go. Uh, the on-road on assistance kit. Uh, so you can kind of see $80 for that. This is a Ford accessory uh, option uh, and uh, you can get it through Ford accessories if you want. Uh, not compatible with the off-road, but again, if you get them through Ford accessories, you can do whatever you want uh, because they don't know what you're doing with it. So there's a first aid kit as well right here. That sixty dollars band aids, that kind of stuff, and again, that's a going to come shipped to the dealership. The dealership would put it in your vehicle for you, and also available through Ford Accessories, very cheap. And then there is one in here that's not showing in, on here that is in the order guide, and that's the off road assistance kit um, that is also available. So it has some different things for off road, like a little shovel and that kind of thing. And again, that is available. That's a dealer installed option as well. Uh, right there too so just uh keep that in mind i would you know any of these accessories uh, any of these dios that we've been telling you that the dealer installs the the less of those you can put on your order the uh, the easier it is to help your order get scheduled it shouldn't be difficult with the bronco sport right now with um with availability and production that they have going on at the factory they're producing a lot of bronco sports shouldn't be a problem uh, but if you're at a dealership that has maybe a few of al allocations and they have several orders uh, the less of those you put on your order, the more likely it is for it to get scheduled over somebody else's order. That's just something to keep in mind. I will say if, if it's a dealer installed option that takes a, an install, you know, it takes some time to install, then it's a good idea because um, then it doesn't cost you to pay for the install. You're just paying for the parts, which is nice. Um, but if it's something that doesn't take an install, like these assistance kits or a cargo mat or floor liners or something like that, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, like, you know, then I would, I would say, leave them off your order and get those through Ford accessories. Now, something like your, your interior bed, bike rack or the center console vault, definitely, you know, you can include those. And again, if you limit it to very few, it makes it a little bit faster to get it scheduled uh, for production. So there you go. So there's all of our standard equipment, different packages and standalone options, as well as some little tips on ordering uh, for you. Hope that you found this uh, some value to you. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about our YouTube our special here for Law MacArthur if you're wanting to order with us. Plus, and then I'm going to give you some ordering tips after that uh, as well. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> but there's a separate timestamp if you want to just skip through this, if you don't want to order from us. But if you're thinking about ordering from us, we do ship all over the country. Um, but we, we have a special offer that we are going to take $1,000 off of your uh, off the price 
uh, if you finance with us. So that's a YouTube special, as well as another YouTube special. Uh, didn't get this okay by management, but I think we'll be fine with this. Invoice pricing on all of our Bronco Sports for 2025. If you order from us, we're going to give you invoice pricing on an ordered unit. And also, if you finance with us, $1,000 off of that. So uh, that's a YouTube special we have. And on every vehicle, whether you uh, do it on YouTube through YouTube special or not, we want you to go to Bronco Off Rodeo. So everybody that buys a Bronco Sport gets a free registration to go to Bronco Off Rodeo. Um, but typically, you'd have to pay for your travels and hotel and lodging and everything yourself. We're going to pay for the first thousand dollars of that expense from Lama MacArthur. So uh, you don't have to finance to get that that offer. We just we want to make sure you go. We think Off Rodeo is that important and that special and that awesome that you're going to have so much fun fun with that and be able to see what your Bronco is really capable of by going to that, that we want to make sure you get there. Uh, and we're going to, to do that. We're going to pay for a thousand dollars of your travel expenses to do that. So uh, bring us back receipts and we're going to pay for that and uh, allow you to go to Bronco off rodeo. So uh, that is, we do have a one year, you know, expiration on that. And I know Bronco uh, or Ford does also give you a, deadline for that i think probably to the end of next year uh for that 2025 to to register anyway so it should be about the same regardless but there you go we want to make sure you're able to go to bronco off rodeo and we want to we want to pay for your way to get there so all right now for as ordering tips so if you're ordering from us or another dealership here's some uh, some helpful tips to make sure you find out one of them is the pricing as i mentioned uh, just now uh for us Pricing is invoice for us. Find out what the dealership is going to do on pricing. So you'll see the MSRP when you sign that order uh, to order that vehicle. But find out what they're going to price it. You should have to also sign a buyer's order. And that's where they should give you what the price is that they're going to price it when it comes in. And that's where you should see that that pricing. Uh, like for us, when you fill out and sign that, make sure it says invoice pricing on that. Also, find out what their dealer fee is. Ours is $4.95. So we're very transparent about that. A lot of that goes to our business office upstairs to help process things, but also uh, help them uh, as well. And uh, some of our fixed ops departments and that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, so some dealers may have a smaller one. Some may have a bigger one. Uh, ask them what that dealer fee is so you're not surprised when that vehicle comes in. Find out if they add anything else. Some dealers are starting to add aftermarket different things like, you know, a tent or a protective on the vehicle. And they say that's required. Find out if they're going to do that to you when that vehicle comes in. Also, find out if they know about price protection, which means that um, Ford is going to honor the price of what it was when you ordered the vehicle. So as long as the person that orders a vehicle buys a vehicle, uh, same name, address, then they're going to reimburse the dealership back the difference of that price if there was any increase from the time you order from the time it comes in. Sometimes they, there's price increases mid-year and uh, and that happens. Ford will make sure that the, that the dealership gets reimbursed that and that should be given to you as well. So make sure that they're honoring that price protection. And then also incentive lock. So you can protect the lot the incentives of what they are when you order the vehicle. So if there's a low interest rate, something else that comes out when you go and that, that comes out and you want to order a vehicle instead of because they don't have one in stock that you like, then you get locked in incentives. So when they go in, as long as the dealership puts in those protect date incentives, then you'll get the same incentives it was when you ordered the vehicle. Or if they're better when it comes in, because sometimes they do get better from the time you order it and certain low rates come out or rebates, then you can take the sale date incentives instead. So make sure the dealership knows about that as well. So there you go. Hopefully that does help you out. And hopefully you did like this video and we're not done. We're going to go through the freewheeling edition as well. So if you're somebody that may be like, hey, I want something a little bit different and different styling, uh, maybe the Heritage Edition is not for you, but you want something else retro. How about the uh, the uh, inspired the 1978 inspired Sunset Edition of the Freewheeling? We're gonna be doing that video next, so make sure you subscribe with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss any video. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.